The next two problems in our review look at simplifying exponents. This exponent of 2 on the parentheses means that the quantity inside the parentheses is multiplied together twice. Regrouping this part on top, we're going to get the 3 times 3, x squared times x squared, y cubed times y cubed. Of course, 3 times 3 is 9. x times x squared means x times x, and then x times x, that would be x to the fourth. <coughs> y times y times y times y times y times y is y to the sixth. Now, for emphasis, we're going to write in a step here where, we'll, where we will factor out a common factor on the top and on the bottom. Usually, what you will do is just cancel uh, factors on top and bottom. The factor of 9x to the fifth and 9x to the, uh, 9x to the fifth is on the top and a factor of 9x to the fifth is on the bottom. So that fraction reduces. And that's it for that one. Let's look at this second problem now. We want to simplify uh, this product. Now this next step is probably a step that you would not write down, <clears throat> but I'm doing it here for emphasis. The cube on this minus 3 3y uh, raised to the third power means that that amount is multiplied three times together. The 5 means that that parentheses is multiplied five times together. So now we're going to regroup and, uh, and complete the multiplication. This next step is even more writing than you would probably do. But there's the minus 3, minus 3, minus 3 that gets multiplied together. There's the... Uh, hang on, let me correct that. Okay, that's better. You see there's the minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3 that gets multiplied together. There's the y times y times y that gets multiplied together. The five twos that are multiplied together and the five y squareds that are multiplied together. Now where possible, let's multiply the numbers. Negative, two ti negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 will be a negative 27. The 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. So now let's complete the multiplication with the numbers. Negative 27 times 32 and count up how many y's are multiplied together. So using our calculator or else long multiplication, negative 27 times 32 is going to be a negative 864. And notice there are 13 y's that are multiplied together, so that's y to the 13th power. That's it. Problem number 11 is again a simplify a, uh, an exponent situation. This time, rather than writing it all out, I want you just to imagine that you've got this 6x squared times itself three times and then times this other property. The thing we want to see at this point is that this 6a squared cubed means that there will be three sixes multiplied together. There will be an a squared times an a squared times an a squared, which will mean that there are six a's multiplied together. Now let's regroup all of this multiplying. We'll have the 6 cubed times the negative 3 times the a to the sixth times the a to the fourth. a to the third power is 216 times the negative 3. Oops, there's a mistake there. Okay, correcting the mistake. 6 to the third power is 216 times a, minus, times a negative 3. And notice that there are 10 a's that are multiplied together. We still need to multiply 216 times a negative 3. So our final result is a negative 614 a to the tenth power. I don't know if simplify is the right description for this next problem. The idea is that we need to multiply these two binomials together. So let's carry out that multiplication. 
where each each term in this factor will have to multiply each term in this factor. That's sometimes referred to as the FOIL method. Here's a line that very few of you would actually write down. But there's going to be the 5x times the 3x, the 5x times the minus 1, the 2 times the 3x, and the 2 times the minus 1. Most of you would actually skip from this first product to this line of, of code. 15x squared, that's 5x times 3x. The uh, minus 5x, that's the 5x times the minus 1. Plus the 6x, that's the 2 times the 3x. And a minus 2, that's 2 times the minus 1. Now combine like terms. There's nothing wrong with writing some of these intermediate steps. Many of you can just multiply this product from the very start and get the 15x squared. You, in your mind, you can keep track of the minus 5x and the plus 6x will give you a, a positive x and the minus 2. So there's our final answer.